Hi all, welcome to part 13, module 5, computer network. So again, it's a continuation of what we discussed in part 11 and 12. So please complete uh, those two videos and come to this. Otherwise, you will not get the continuity. So IGMP protocol itself, we are continuing. And here we will discuss uh, something called delayed response. So we are, we already seen why this delayed response is needed. So just recollect uh, what we seen in the last video. Uh, like uh, the monitoring purpose for a long time uh, if uh, someone is not responding and the machine may be down or uh, some uh, due to some reason it may not be using that particular group so the router is supposed to update the list right so for that purpose the router will be sending something called a general query asking who are all interested on what are all groups so every machine as soon as they are getting the general query they are supposed to respond back with the uh, membership report but the same group more than one machine may be Mm, part of it right so that time everyone will send the membership rep report repeatedly but actually we just need a single report so that the router can update the list so that is the case so to ha deal with it what we will do is to prevent unnecessary traffic igmb has delayed response strategy when a host or a router receives a query message so what query message we have a general query and special query here particularly that general query message and you know the context well if you still have any doubt please complete the previous uh, video and come to this you will understand what the context the general query it does not respond immediately and rather it will delay the response and but how this delay is done that is with the help of a random number uh, to create the timer right which expires uh, with some value say between 1 and 10 seconds the maximum response time is typically set as 10 seconds if that is the case we will uh, use a timer and the timer will randomly expire um, say maybe with a step size of uh, one second or less so that you can set anyways for example it's uh, set for each group in the list for example a timer for the first group could be expiring in two seconds and the second or the third group will be expiring in five seconds just something random that we don't know between one and ten seconds any value could be randomly picked by that particular group and it will be expiring accordingly so some of the one uh, maybe one out of um, a number uh, group on a different different host some of them will be expiring maybe faster right so who is expiring faster will be communicating with the uh, report message membership report message so as soon as that re re membership report message for a particular group is communicated typically it will be broadcasting everyone else will um, delete their uh, timer from themselves for the same group something like that we will see an example and it will be clear so each host or the router waits until its timer has expired so uh, uh, only after expiring the uh, timer it will send the membership report message so during this waiting time everybody will be waiting for their timer to expire but uh, some for someone it will be expiring earlier right because as random number someone will be picking smaller number as random so if the timer of another host or the router uh, for the uh, same group uh, may expire earlier and that time that host or the router sends a membership report now so it will happen in two level from host to router also from the router to other routers so in two level uh, this thing will happen so that is why everywhere it is written like host or router uh, the because the report is broadcasted the waiting host that on the same group i mean uh, some other host or the router may be um, waiting for that particular group id response so they receives a report and they knows that there is no need to send a duplicate report for the same group right so accordingly they will um, I mean, so the waiting station, uh, all of them, all others uh, on the same group, they will cancel their timer. Anyways, uh, we will see that ex this example, it will be clear for you. So this is a typical scenario. So imagine there are three hosts, say A, B, C. They are connected in a network as shown in the figure. A query was received at uh, time zero. So time line starts from zero. And what we already seen is like uh, the timer is at a value between 0 and 10 seconds typically. But in this example, they were showing timer uh, like uh, maybe the unit may be uh, something less than seconds. So like that you can assume uh, maybe some millisecond, uh, nanosecond like that you can assume. So whatever it is, in this example, they were taking the timer value to be some uh, unit. You assume some um, um, smaller unit, whatever it is. So let me call this 30 unit. 12 unit of time 8 unit of time so like that we are uh, taking the timer so these are but at time 0 we got the general query message right now 
uh, the random delay uh, in tens of seconds for each group is shown next to the group address so next to the group address this uh, timer value is actually something randomly picked by that particular group so here it uh, pick a randomly a value of toll here it is 8 and when you look at this host b uh, this uh, it is having two groups that is the meaning the, the host b is having interest on two groups in the sense some of the process inside host b is interested on these two group with the group ids and for the first group it pick a number 48 randomly and for the second one it pick a number uh, maybe 48 millisecond or 50 millisecond like that similarly for the host c it is having two groups right 62 and 70 it picked randomly host a is having three groups so that is the scenario so let me uh, erase the things right now the question is like show the sequence of report messages being generated report what report the membership report right so we were asking about the membership report so we are supposed to generate membership report for all the group which are active in that particular network so this router is interested to know the membership so but uh, the same group for example if you are looking at uh, um, this uh, uh, what one yeah uh, just look at this address 228.48.0.0 this uh, host a is a member of this particular group see the same group host b is also member this c the address is same 228.48.0.0 so if both a and b are sending a membership report for this particular group that is meaningless they are just duplicates right so what will happen if if you look at the timer uh, initially host a's uh, timer will expire because it is told so as soon as host a's timer expires host a will send a membership report for this particular group and that will be broadcasted in the network and the router will be receiving and accordingly the router will be updating its table so if b is again sending after 48 uh, unit of time that will be a duplicate because router is already updated we don't want it right so what we can do is <coughs> Uh, so as soon as the broadcast message from A is coming, the B will be deleting its entry from the table. So that is the thing. So same thing will happen with other uh, repetitions also. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. And the order in which the membership reports are generated is what is uh, what we are supposed to answer. <coughs> Let's start from time zero, right? So initially, um, which timer will be expiring? So just look at all the timing. 30, 12, 80, 48, 50, 60. So which is least told? So definitely host A's timer for this particular group will be expiring first, right? Because this told that is expired. So as soon as it is expired, host A will send uh, what called a membership report for this particular group and it will be broadcasted see on the way this host b is also having an entry for the group so at 48 host b is supposed to post to be thought of sending a, um, a membership report but actually it is uh, sent by a so host b no longer has to send it so it can simply remove this entry from its table so at 48 it is not going to send this entry at all so that is the thing so the event occurs in the sequence at the time 12 so that is the first uh, time at which the timer expires the timer for 228 48.000 in host a expires and the membership report is sent which is received by the router and every host including b which cancels its timer for that particular group same group right hope it is clear now tell me what is next so after 12 the next time is uh, the because this is already uh, cancelled so what is next is uh, this 30 again <coughs> so again this particular timer uh, finishes next in the order so this will be sending a membership report message for this particular group id and who else is having mem interest on the same group c this one right 225.14.0.0 0 .0. so what everyone will receive this broadcast and c will be delete in this particular entry and at 62 time it is not going to send any membership report because it is already sent by a that is the thing right so that is it. so at time 30 so 225 14.0.0 in host a experts and a membership report is sent which is received by the router of course and accordingly the router will update the table and every host including c so which cancel that say entry from its uh, table or it cancels its timer for that particular group so we, who will come next it is i think 50 right so 50 will be expiring next uh, right so this 
uh, who will send so this host b is now going to send a membership report for 23871.0.0 but unfortunately or fortunately whatever it is no one else is interested on the group right see this 238 is kept in uh, nowhere so just it will send and uh, no one is going to cancel anything so at timer 50 the timer for um, this 23871.0.0 is sent which is received by the router and every host and there is no cancellation at all so who what will be next next uh, only two entry remain this 80 and 70 the, of course the 70 will be expiring first so the machine c will be sending a membership report for the group 23043.0.0 and the same entry is kept here so a will be receiving that broadcast and a will be removing this see with that the process end at 70 the timer for this expires and it will send a membership report and a will be cancelling accordingly so what you can see is instead of this so this is a concept of delayed response with the timer which is randomly uh, setting the value and the response will be given and with that uh, many responses you can save so by default uh, without this delayed response concept we will be getting how many uh, membership reports so, so three here two here two here so totally seven membership reports uh, could be generated but now we saved how many right so now actually we sent only four and three we saved so out of seven uh, actually uh, we saved three right so those three were actually duplicates so we can uh, we don't have to send it again so this is a smaller example but just think of its impact in a general case so it's a very uh, nice thing that is being applied in the IGMB protocol yeah thanks for watching some oh yeah i think one more topic i thought of adding here this is another all those things are optimizations actually into the basic algorithm the query router so here also when that response is coming if everybody uh, everybody is taking that response accordingly update in their table so the router all all the routers time will be wasted right so instead specifically one of the router will be given the task of uh, taking care of the uh, responses from the general query so that is uh, what they call as the or what they designate as the query router and he will be updating the entries with others other other ones and also i already told you you don't have to take all the routers for this duty maybe three routers one of them can be given the role of a distributing router and query router so like that you can uh, make it more efficient but if load is high you are supposed to distribute your load of course so the query messages may create lot of responses of course right even though the delayed message will save some but still responses were coming more to prevent unnecessary traffic again the IGMB designates one router as a query router for each network only this designated router sends a query message and the uh, other routers are just passive they receive the response and update the list but that uh, sorry that sending process is done only by one a single one so that is the case okay so that was uh, because everyone is sending you know every every everyone is sending simultaneously but again and again every host will be replying that response back so so query message is supposed to be so what i said initially is wrong sorry th this is a concept query message is supposed to be sent by a single machine only um, but response will be received by everyone right but they will be passive in the sense they will not s actively send the query message but passively they will receive the response and they will update the uh, entries if uh, they are maintaining them in the list so that is the case yeah that is another optimization so s something more into this we will see in the and uh, no, so, so that is more important actually because uh, the next part we are going to see the encapsulation so how this igmp message is encapsulated say into the uh, ip packet and then into the uh, ethernet packet so that ethernet frame so that thing we will see in the uh, next part yes thanks for watching